Hello friends, myself Rajendra Mahajan presenting my video on Laplace transform point solution of differential equation by Laplace transform technique. Uh, let us solve the problem. Uh, differential equation is here d square plus 6d plus 9 into y and is equal to 0 and conditions are y of 0 is equal to 1 and y dash of 0 is equal to 0. Initial condition define at x is equal to at t is equal to 0 and where the value of that capital D stands for the operator of derivative d by dt. Then uh, to solve any differential equation by Laplace transform technique uh, we have to perform two steps. In the first step we require to find the Laplace transform of the given differential equation and in second part we require to find inverse Laplace transform to get the solution of this differential equation uh, very simple uh, I have taken very simple problem to know the technique and after knowing the technique you can easily solve any type of problem so the given differential equation is here uh, d square a uh, given differential equation is d square plus 6d plus 9 into y is equal to 0 First step is a Laplace transform on both sides. Therefore, taking Laplace on both sides, taking Laplace transform on both sides. Therefore, the Laplace of the left hand side equal to Laplace of right hand side. Laplace of individual terms of left hand side. Therefore, Laplace of d square, 6 constant outside. Laplace transform of d. Uh, 9 Laplace of here it is operated on y d square y dy and 9 into Laplace of y and is equals to 0. Then already I have discussed the results to find Laplace of derivative. I will provide the link of that my video in the description box. Please watch that video. Therefore Laplace of second order derivative is as per that a result standard result it is s square y bar of s minus s y of 0 and minus y dash of 0 this is the laplace transform of second order derivative then the laplace of first order derivative again standard result it is s y bar of s minus y of 0 And plus 9 Laplace of y is y bar of s and that is equals to 0 and then collecting the terms of y bar of s 1 2 3 term in the bracket we get s square plus 6s and plus 9 into y bar of s is equals to we get substituting the value of y of 0 the value of y of 0 is 1 therefore minus s if you transfer to right hand side it becomes plus s uh, y dash of 0 is 0 y of 0 is again 1 therefore minus 6 if you transfer to right hand side it becomes plus 6 therefore on right hand side we have the term s plus 6 then s square plus 6s plus 9 into y bar of s is equal to s plus 6 then dividing by this term we get s plus 6 divided by uh, this is a perfect square of s plus 3 whole square if you expand it by a plus b whole square it is a square means s square y square b means 6s 3 to the 6s and plus b square means 9 and is equal to s plus 6 therefore dividing by that term we get this one then uh, rewriting this 6 as s plus 3 therefore that term 6 i can rewrite as s plus 3 plus 3 and divided by s plus 3 whole square i will divide it separately s plus 3 divided by s plus 3 whole square and 3 divided by s plus 3 whole square uh, here the 
half part is over uh, we call this equation one in next part we have to take inverse laplace transform of this equation number one means inverse of left hand side inverse of right hand side and therefore we get inverse laplace of y bar of s is equals to uh, s plus 3 divided by s plus 3 whole square when s plus 3 get cancelled we get only 1 upon s plus 3 remains and plus 3 times inverse Laplace of 1 upon s plus 3 whole square uh, there are two terms whose inverse is required therefore applying the standard result means to find the inverse either we have to take the help of a standard results or we have to take the help of a partial fraction technique or we can take the help of convolution method to find the inverse of such type of terms here i am using the standard result 1 upon s plus a its inverse is e raised to minus a t here it become e raised to minus 3t s plus 3 therefore its inverse is e raised to minus a t a is here 3 therefore e raised to minus 3t uh, here s is replaced by s plus 3 and then its square therefore we have to apply shifting theorem and as per that shifting theorem it is s plus 3 means e raised to minus 3t once again into inverse Laplace of remaining term if you neglect this 3 the remaining term is here 1 by s square all this already I have discussed in my previous videos of finding the inverse by either standard method or by partial fraction technique or by convolution and therefore we get this first term as it is no change e raised to minus 3t uh, this is 3 into e raised to minus 3t and inverse of 1 by s square against by standard result it is t raised to n minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 we get 1 divided by 1 factorial means it is t and inverse of y bar of s is y of t as the required answer or this is the required solution of that differential equation d square plus 6d plus 9 into y is equal to 0 obtained by applying Laplace transform technique uh, one more I will discuss in my next video please like my video share it as well as subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and press the bell icon to receive the notification for my all such type of new videos thank you thanks for watching